Eye on MPI brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. This week, the product is from DigiKey. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Sneaky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this week, um, I'm going to show off the uh, DigiKey standard toolkit. So um, it's from DigiKey, but it's kind of it's like it's actually cool. So I thought like, I'd show it off. Okay. So let's go check it out. So this is their photo. So this is um, the little web instead of like the Adafruit, like we have a Lady Ada toolkit. This one has a little bit more stuff in it. Um, and I also like that it comes in a really nice uh, blow molded tote with like some cool bolts and stuff on it. And it's got uh, the new DigiKey branding as well. Um, so it's like a little latching tote you see, and it's got DKS, TK1. So I've noticed that, you know, ever since D DigiKey started doing their, they did like a branding re revision um, for stuff that's on Dash between Digi and Key, but also they're releasing more products as like in house brand, sort of like, yeah. you know, when you go to like the grocery store or whatever, they're like, oh, we have the, Whole Foods 360, whatever brand olive oil. So um, that's good because it's like DigiKey will know will be able to get you stuff that is at a really good price. And it's like standard items. Like they're not probably not gonna be making like controller chips, but they are gonna have stuff like battery holders with connectors. So um this is something that isn't actually available from like any of the standard um battery holder vendors. So they're like, okay, we're gonna make our own and sell it. They also have uh, proto boxes with little like breadboards that fit inside. It's kind of reminiscent a little bit of um, Radio Shack. Uh, used to have these sort of things, but of course, but they don't have them anymore. Well, DigiKey's got your back, a lot of different sizes. So check out these uh, proto boxes. I um, also saw they've got uh, heat shrink um, kits and stuff. This one, you know, also under the DigiKey standard brand. So we're probably going to see a lot more um items from you know digikey standard as as they start um you know they have this new warehouse they have a lot of space they probably won't want to fill it with all sorts of goodies let's go to the overhead and we'll check out this kit so it's, it's kind of big but um so it's got these latching connectors so let's open and then dun, 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 dun. okay so this is what you get. So what I like is everything has its own little spot. So when you take it out, oh, so I'll make sure I don't spill drink. Um, after you like remove it, um, there's um, a spot that you can put it back and it like sits nicely in it. So you know where it goes and what you're missing. So you don't forget anything. So it comes with um, like kind of like a standard multimeter, um, has DC, AC voltage, resistance, um, continuity, diode test, uh, and current sensing. There's also, um, you know, it's got a little kickstand and little uh, uh, lead holders, and the leads are over here. Um, they're nice leads, by the way. Let me show them to you. There, they're, these are not like the stiff um, leads that you sometimes get. These are kind of nice, uh, you know, nice and pointy and sharp. And you can like remove this if you want to have the long leads or just use the points. Um, and then these are all cat three, so 600 volts. Um, so that's kind of like, you know, for testing and stuff. It's not, um, there's a backlight, but there's no auto uh, ranging. But like for, you know, if you want a low cost multimeter, which you get, you want a fluke multimeter, DigiKey will sell you one for a couple hundred bucks. Um, there's also soldering equipment. Um, so they've got a Hacko Blue. 40 watt um 120 volt iron i like that they you know it's it's a lower cost iron it doesn't have adjustable temperature controls and stuff but um you know it's going to be lead free since uh hacko makes lead free stuff you can change the tip out and they give you an extra tip which i think is really nice uh and the tip is good for like heavy smts like soics uh 1206s 0805s i think you could probably do maybe 0603s um and definitely through hole uh, so you can plug it in and, uh, you know, like I said, there's no on off switch, but that's, you know, for a beginner kit, that's fine. And then, um, they've upgraded the little holder. Like this usually comes with, um, a little holder that doesn't have a sponge, but this one does, which I like. So you can clean off, you can put water in it and then clean it off. It's a nice little stand, uh, 50 grams of solder. I would recommend if you're going to pick this up, also get some more solder because, uh, you will run out, you know, it's very fast. You put together like one kit. So maybe get another hundred grams, um, after this or another like spool. It's worth it. Um, solder wick, 
um this is a nice copper wick and it's two millimeters wide five meter uh five two millimeters wide five feet long you put it like this and then you can pull it out so it's kind of good i like that they put that in as well as the um standard solder sucker uh usually you only get uh one or the other so i like that um they include both so you can actually like do some rework there's the battery for the multimeter comes with the battery so you, you know it doesn't accidentally turn on or anything and then over here um a really nice set of uh screwdrivers so phillips and flat um not too big i like that they're the small small tips so double zero zero and one on the phillips and then uh 2.42 sorry 2.4 3 and 2 and they even say on the side what they are which is nice so you, you know and then um they've got the little uh rotating end so you can um you know you press down while you rotate so you don't have to strip the screws and nice hardened uh tips so um extra nice nice set for the um for the tools here definitely and then these also have little spots that they live in wire strippers um so these come with the uh slots they're nicer than like the two dollar ones that i started up what out with at mit um this is the a set that has larger holes this is good for electricians as well as which i think is kind of the goal here was like electricians technicians and makers but it does go down to 28 uh, 24 gauge so breadboarding wire and stuff will definitely be able to uh strip with this stripper and then yeah locks open um sorry sorry locks closed or open and then the tip can be used for for bending and then there's uh i cut wire with this but if you're uh dealing with heavier material they also have diagonal cutter dikes um so this is definitely for like more intense cutting uh it doesn't have spring yeah for most uses you know i would just use these and then um for wedging stuff you got your drop forged uh needle nose pliers so um a nice kit for about a hundred bucks so i think i gave you the tour and of course it comes with the case as well which i think is actually like you'd be surprised like cases are quite expensive so definitely worth it um especially given that you get the full case and everything to put it you know in and then you can latch it and uh, put it under your desk so i think it would be good for um makers and uh technicians Digi oh it's not digikey um maybe I'll go back to us or yeah i was gonna go over here okay yeah um it's in stock for about 100 bucks good for makers students definitely like your first soldering you know kit um you want to give a gift to someone it's kind of a good gift um schools and maybe like offices where you're like oh i want to be able to do some quick repairs you don't have like a full rework station and this is especially for the price it's a good also it's kind of a little bit of everything here's the other thing if you get something on amazon it's probably going to be junk sorry it's true um but you know amazon has all sorts of weird ways they kind of subsidize shipping not really but you could get it for a good price plus low shipping yeah so it's the details like like using a hacko iron instead of like a cheap like no name brand i think is for example like most places if you get you know you'll get like a 20 dollar kit but like the solder iron will like break immediately yeah. like hacker will you know it's inexpensive but it's the best of the inexpensive okay that is that's this is okay. uh, this week's iron pie good pick. yep Hi, on